Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming and welcome back to my Reassembly Series Episode 2. So today we're going to talk about some of the things I have learned about this wonderful game. First off, we're going to talk about the controls. So this is the standard control uh, that I was showing you last time. Of course, whatever direction my cursor is facing is the direction that the ship tries to face. I say tries because when you have larger ships, it of course turns much more slowly. It is also the direction which the turreted turrets or guns will face so you'll notice because this ship has three turreted guns um, really it doesn't really matter that they're turreted guns because I, I'm always going to be trying to face the same direction that my guns are so in other words when I get bigger ships I may have a lot of turreted guns and I may because I turn so slowly I may want to use the turreted guns to shoot to the side so having the ship constantly trying to get to where my cursor is maybe doesn't work so well so the other option is when you hit R you go to the next set of controls so now with this set of controls the cursor defines where the turrets are facing so now if I want to shoot behind me I can if I want to shoot to the side I can etc and the WASD key works a lot like uh, star control 2 so when I turn right or D I turn to the right, and when I push forward, whoops, I push, I go forward. Uh, when I hit the bat, uh, S key, I go in reverse, right? Makes sense. So very much star controlling. Very cool. But I can aim in any direction I want with the turrets. Now, if I had only front firing weapons, I wouldn't normally choose this, this, this control setup. Um, and with this ship, because it's really, really small and turns really fast, again, I don't know if I would choose this setup. It's probably a little bit more efficient for this design, just because it has turrets, but I'm not, I'm not good enough yet to be able to use this control setup with a small ship. So, the third set of controls is probably the most difficult to learn, but I would think maybe the best of them all. Okay, and so this is absolute control. So, when I push... Oh, so first off, um, my ship is always, I guess it depends on what kind of ship you're using, whether or not you want to use this. So whatever, wh wherever my cursor is, my ship is always trying to face that direction. Now, the difference is with the WASD keys, when I push W, I actually go north or up. When I push the S key, I go down. When I push the D key, I go right. And when I push the A key, of course, I go left. So uh, it, it, it's just, you'd, you'd really have to change the way you think. Uh, when it comes to playing a game like this, and I'm sure there's games like this out there, I'm sure. But for me, it's I find it very confusing. Uh, again, you'd want to have front-firing weapons, I think, for this design. Um, and maybe it's not the best. I don't know. I think the second choice is probably the best. But again, I, again, I think it depends on what kind of ship you're, you're actually driving. My preference right now is, of course, the default, which is the cursor, whatever, wherever the cursor is facing, I'm facing or trying to face and of course uh, the turrets of course face with the cursor and um, the WASD key operates like uh, normally so yeah I like that works really well um, okay so the uh, now we're going to we're collecting all that juicy resource which is great let's go sell some of it because we're gonna start whoops <laughs> we're gonna start building our own ship or maybe we'll do some adapting or we'll, we'll do some change make some changes to this one so that we can actually make it our own that's really exciting so uh click click to edit there we go so you can if you hit the here let's just go over the other keys so if you hit the one key that will go to the edit screen whoops one edit perfect uh two we'll start a brand new ship I didn't know that. I just learned that. Two will start a brand new ship. Um, three goes to your fleet control. So this is where you can you, you pick to fly a different ship or add something as a child design so that when you have, have a factory on your ship, you can grow this ship from your ship, from the resources that you have in your hold. But we'll get to that when we finally get the factory piece. Um, I think we're gonna let's let's pick a design that we'd like to start with. Uh, I think we're going to start with uh, that's kind of a cool little design. I like this one. This one, I don't know. It looks it looks appealing. It looks kind of Klingon-y. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, right on. Okay, so let's uh, perfect. So he has uh, oh defense guns. Okay, so interesting defense cannons and 
Uh, there's another, there's a flak cannon as well that you can research. Oh, it's already researched. Oh, interesting. It's already researched. So the flak cannon and the defense cannon are auto-firing weapons. So you do not have to aim them. You do not have to fire them. They automatically shoot at targets. Very, very, very handy. Um, there, oh, there is an option within the game to set up all your guns as auto-fire. Um, which is, I don't know, I think it's kind of a cheat. Because your guns with turrets, uh, they tend to be shorter range but really fast firing. And um, that makes it really hard to aim them. Um, they also don't shoot, like, uh, the uh, the cyclic rate of the guns is really fast, and it's just really hard to hit your targets. But if you have the auto-fire on, uh, I haven't tested the auto-fire, maybe the auto-fire is not that great, but the auto-fire on the defense guns is pretty darn good. So in other words, the defense cannon and the flak cannons, they do really well at shooting down smaller targets like missiles and even s uh, smaller ships and stuff too. So I don't know, I, I would never, I'm not going to use the auto-fire thing. But anyway, um, the plasma cannon... So we'll go through the guns here really quickly. The plasma cannon is, uh, actually we'll just compare it. Uh, so it does a little bit more damage than the auto cannon, but it doesn't fire as fast, but it has way more range. I don't know, the auto cannon is super fast firing, fairly short range. The missile launcher, they're okay. You know, I think the missile launcher would be really good if you had a ship that was just filled with missiles. Uh, then, you know, like when you did a, did a missile launch uh, and they all went after a target, it wouldn't matter how many defense cannons they have, you, you, you'd do some serious damage. Um, the defense cannons, of course, they're for point defense against missiles and small fighters and stuff. Uh, the flak cannon, again, again, point defense against small missiles and fighters. Uh, the flak cannon, I think, does more damage than the defense cannon, right? But it shoots much slower, and it causes, the flak cannon causes splash damage, so really good for killing off fighters and stuff like that. Okay, so let's make a ship of our own. Oh, and the plasma projector. This is your first static gun. This one is not a turret, so whatever direction you put it on and face it is, whoops, uh, <laughs> Z, undo, perfect. <laughs> Whatever direction you put it on is the direction it's going to fire. So it'd be kind of silly. I guess you could build a ship that fires in all directions with plasma protectors. But anyway, it does lots of damage. So that's that's the upside of this gun. The downside is you, of course, have to have it facing the direction that uh, that uh, you want it to, to deal, right? And it has uh, the best range of all of the guns that we currently have right now. Energy, so let's just uh, take a look at energy right away really quick. So energy is right here, located on the left bottom half of the screen. Um, so right now we have a capacity of 1125. As we fire, we use up energy. Now that generator that we have, um, we would never run out of energy, no matter how much we fire. Even with our defense cannons going and our missiles launching and everything, we'd probably never run out of energy, just because we don't have a lot on this ship. But we're about to change all that. <laughs> um, I'm not going to add more generators until we have to. But uh, yeah, just to let you know that uh, power is an issue, a serious issue later on in the game. Not so much at the beginning of the game. Also, another great thing that I've learned, thanks to Kaijudo Mage on the channel. He's also one of the guys I used to play um, Space Engineers with. Uh, good buddy. He uh, reminded me that this is a trapezoid shape. Thank you, Kai. I totally forgot about that. It's been a while since um, I learned my shapes. So good to know. Anyway, so it's a trapezoid. The trapezoid is a very, very, very useful one in all of this because you can turn one point into two points. In other words, if I want to, let's say I've got a hull piece like this and I want to attach a mining laser and I want it to be even. So that's where these wonderful little blocks come in the trapezoids. So I'll just turn this around. You put that, whoops, <laughs> uh, turn that around and boom, you've got a block that can now house a two joint and make it even, right? So yeah, so I could stick that now on, on front. Uh, I guess I couldn't do it there, but you get the idea, right? The trapezoid piece, the hull piece is really handy for turning one into two for connectors. I, I hope that makes sense for you guys. Okay, so the mining laser, um, oh, the mining laser, yeah, we haven't talked about the mining laser. Well, let's let's go, uh, let me let me show you how that works. So let's pull off that and mining laser, again, weapons can go, usually go pretty much anywhere on your craft. It doesn't matter where they're located. I could put them on the back as well, just to show you. Uh, I guess I don't have any place to put it. Um, but let's just go and I'll show you what that is like. So cool. 
Okay, so the mining laser um, isn't really for mining. It is it is actually a weapon. Now, in numbers, these suckers can do a lot of damage. And what's really nice about these, of course, is you can tell exactly where you're firing. And it's, there's no delay. So if you look at the auto cannon, there's kind of a... There's kind of a delay as it fires, so it doesn't necessarily keep up that well with my cursor, whereas the lasers do a little bit of a better job with that, and it's instantaneous damage. But they don't do a lot of damage. You really have got to focus a lot of those on one point in order to do any serious damage. Okay, so we're not going to use those right now. We are going to... I think we're going to add on to the ship and make it more interesting. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's. If you hit M... It will actually mirror a piece as well. So in other words, if I have this piece and I want to mirror it, I go like this and mirror, like so. Yeah, like that. All right, and uh, let's see here. Let's... I want to make kind of a spidery ship. <laughs> so what's interesting about these hull pieces, of course, and I think I mentioned this on the last video, is that the... Guns can shoot through the hull pieces of your hull pieces, but the enemy has to shoot through the hull pieces in order to get to the guns. And of course, you want to preserve your weapons so that they don't get damaged. Um, because they, uh, you know, that's what keeps you alive is your guns, essentially. Okay, so, oh, that looks kind of cool. Now, what I can do is I can highlight these pieces, use the shift key to get the last couple pieces, and then go C, V, M. Perfect. So I copied, pasted, and then I mirrored it to flip it around. And then I can go like that and attach it. Oh, that looks cool. That looks so cool. Okay, I'm actually going to use another one of those pieces. So we'll do C, V, and uh, we just rotate it a little bit. Let's add another one of those right there. Yeah! Oh, that's nice. Okay, CV. We're going to flip that. And actually, building is... It, it, it's so... It's so nice. It's... I mean, it can be a bit of a pain when you're trying to make something happen. Now, if I wanted to add another energy and keep things even and stuff, I'd have to kind of mix things up and change things around a little bit. Um, and it can be a bit of a pain trying to get all the pieces. But once you learn it, it's actually not that bad. Okay, so that adds a whole new level of armor for the entire ship that will add to our longevity. Um, we're going to get rid of the missile launchers because they're taking up uh, 31p right now of ship points, right? So that leaves 176 left to use. We want lots of rear thrusters because... Uh, huh... And yes, you can add pieces together like this and there's no consequence to it. Uh, I don't think there's a bonus to doing it that way either. But uh, yeah, you can totally do that. Now, I my concern is if somebody shoots me from behind, they're going to take out all of my forward thrust. So it doesn't hurt actually to add some backup thrust. So rather than put all of my thrusters there, we're actually going to add some thrusters in now i think we'll we'll save that area for guns so we're going to add some thrusters in here that way you know if if our guns get or our rear thrusters get taken out uh is that the medium no i want the, i'm using putting on medium thrusters here first of course they use up more p than the smaller ones i don't want to use up all of my p on thrust but we definitely want to have some backup so now if we lose these here we still have the ability to use um the other ones to keep us moving to maybe get away and uh we want to add so keep in mind if the core dies i think i mentioned this last time too if the core dies you die so you want to have lots of protection around it so we're going to add um hull piece can we make that bigger no i don't think we can make that one bigger can we make this one bigger yes yeah can't make that one bigger but we can make this one bigger so let's see what we can do with that yeah oh okay uh hmm well, what we could do is we could go like that. <laughs> oh, uh, rotate. Awesome. Ah, uh, yes. No. Yes. No. It's not gonna work. Oh, bummer. Okay. Well, yeah. What if we rotate them? That might work better. I don't know. We'll see. Uh. Hmm. It's tricky to get things the way you want them. Hmm. 
I wonder... I wonder if we did that instead. Do the... It's hard to make things match and... See, this is where I'm talking about where it can be tricky sometimes. So we'll, we'll do it the easy way here. We'll do it the easy way. It's, uh, like I said, using this trapezoid, we can turn... Oops. There we go. We can turn that into a two joint, like so. And that adds extra protection to our core. Now, of course, every piece that you add onto your ship has weight. That's the other thing to definitely consider. You have to remember that. So for every piece of weight that you add onto your ship, and it doesn't show, yes, it shows the mass up here, eight. Uh, so every piece that you add to your ship adds more mass. So now we're up to 24 mass. And even your engines add mass, just like all of these games. So you got to keep that in mind too when making your calculations. Although I'm not making any calculations because that's too complex for me right now. I'm just here to play a game and have fun. So now the next piece that's really, really important to me, we're actually going to move this gun out and we need to add some thrusters firing backwards because I want the ability to... Here, I'll show... Here, let's, let's put this back on for a second. I want to show you. So save. Good. Now we can watch our ship. <laughs> awesome. So we have the ability to, of course, thrust forward. Now, I also want the ability to... <laughs> so when, I'm, when I've got a bad guy and I'm firing at the bad guy and I want to kind of back up and fire at the same time. And right now it's really tough because I only have a few thrusters that will do that for me. So, and they're all small. So I want some, some more rear firing thrust or forward firing thrust, I guess is what, uh, is what I want. So, and I want them pretty beefy, right? So as much thrust in front as there is in back and separated like that, I feel pretty safe that I'm not going to lose them both at the same time, hopefully. <laughs> I, I know I'm going to lose them at some point, but... And I like forward firing guns. They make me happy. They make me smile. So we're going to add some more of those. Uh, yeah, I guess we could put that in there. I wonder, actually, I wonder if we can put them on top of each other. I can. Interesting. So do they all fire then? Hold on, let's try that out. Save. I, I think they all fire. Oh, freaking cool. Yeah, because it doesn't matter what's in front of it. So now, um, I, and, uh, hmm, the auto cannons. I, I almost, I, I want to go forward firing guns for now until we get big enough to really make use of the turrets. Uh, for now, it's really not all that important to me, the turret thing. So I think we're going to go with some flak guns, though, because those automatically fire. So we'll do the flak guns instead of the auto cannons. Uh, we're up to 277p. Throw these thrusters back on. And of course, if we wanted to uh, make it so that we have some uh, lateral movement, is that right? Lateral movement? Uh, to be able to strafe, of course, we can add some thrusters on the side as well. And of course, these help when you're trying to slow down too and stuff like that. Okay, so that would give us some speed on the side and to finish it off here so we've got some flat guns some defensive guns all of those should fire on the bad guys when we see them on any bad guys it's just the flat guns and defense guns will be automatic so we'll just add a few more thrusters as well no that's it we're at 299p okay awesome so let's save that and let's go to our upgrade screen and just take a quick look here. So we can add some space to our ship if we want we can, and maybe add a couple more guns before we go. Or we can do some research. Do we want uh, kind of holding out for the factory? But it would be easier to get to the factory if we had... Oh, rocket launcher. So the, I've only seen a few guns here so far. Um, I have seen the drone launcher. It's very cool. Need to have lots of them to make that effective. Um, I have seen... Uh, what else have I seen? <laughs> Not too much. I've seen the blast pulsar, which is pretty cool. It fires in every direction all at once. And it uses up a crap ton of energy. Um... And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I've seen the shield projector. Very cool and definitely a must later on. 
Um, but that's it. That's all I've seen so far. So I'm going to try and go for things that I haven't seen. So let's go for, uh, let's unlock something. Let's just unlock something and throw something. Oh, I guess we can't. No, we're not going to do that because we got to, we, we wouldn't be able to add it to our ship and its current state yet. So let's just add a little bit more space to our ship and add a couple more guns and then let's go collect some goodies. Oh, that's looking pretty cool. Woo. Oh. Yeah, we're not turning very fast. The more crap you add on your ship, the more, uh, the slower you go, the slower you turn. Okay, so let's, uh, okay, we've got some flat guns on there. Let's add more plasma projectors. So in order to do that, we're going to have to bring that out. And then we could go, huh, you know what, let's, let's play with it. Let's have some fun. Hmm. Oh, we can't we can't fit that in there. That's a bummer. That's okay. Uh, we'll do something like that later. I, I really like these pieces. The trapezoids are awesome. So let's. Okay. Well, we could add a couple more like that, and then right. And that is that forward facing. Yes, it is. And, okay, so let's do another one of those. And it just kind of, it kind of fits with the look, right? Kind of bug-like. Yeah, kind of uh, like an insect. I love it. I love it. Okay, so now let's add. Oh, no, no, no. We want the these guns to be, whoops, buried kind of on the inside. Can I do that? Oh, it's not going to let me do that. Oh, it's because, oh, okay, it's because of, uh, it's because it's in the hull, these hull pieces are kind of encroaching, so I guess we can't do that. So that's okay. I, I still like the look. It looks pretty cool. Now, these plasma projectors that I'm putting in front, they are a target. Like, they're pretty apt to get shot off until I add uh, some protection for them. But, oh, yeah, okay, that's a little much. So, okay, so that gives us six forward firing plasma guns. And then we will add uh, maybe a couple hull pieces. Yeah, a couple hull pieces to kind of give them a little bit of protection. Kind of along the same theme. Yeah. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Hey, that looks pretty cool. I like it. Okay. Uh, like so. And try to keep things symmetrical. I don't know if it matters in this game, but I don't know if the thrusters compensate, in other words, if it's not symmetrical. I I'm sure it does. So we're not going to... We're going to keep things symmetrical for now. Maybe we'll experiment with that more later because I love non-symmetrical designs sometimes too. They can look really, really cool. Okay, so that adds, uh, we're at 335. We could theoretically add, uh, I, I don't think we can add two flat cannons. No, we wouldn't be able to add two flat cannons, but we might be able to add a couple more defense cannons. Oh, there we go. A couple more defense cannons. Yeah, awesome. Perfect. That's great. Okay, and we'll save the rest. So yeah, now we're... Oh, that's nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's the default name of the other ship. We can rename it here. What are we going to name it? Ah. Uh, Villa. Park. I was thinking Velociraptor in honor of the new Jurassic Park trailer that just came out um, and uh, kind of added a little bit of flair. So Velocir... Hold on. If I can't pronounce it, we can't have it. Velocirilop... No, I can't have that. Velocirocketrock. <laughs> Velocirocketrock! Oh, that's nice. Awesome. Excellent. Very nice. And there he comes. Yeah! Look at all those guns. Ooh. So another thing I noticed, um, when your ship is building itself, if it finds, so it will, it will of course manufacture everything for your ship on its own. Now, if it finds parts, so the same type of block lying around somewhere, it will actually steal that block, uh, not steal it, but grab it and add it to the ship where it needs it. So sometimes you'll get parts that look different. They'll be a different color than what's on your ship because it's actually harvested the from the surroundings. So kind of cool. All right, so let's go make some resources let's go get some resources now this is where 
Um, I usually get my butt kicked. So we could just go around and we could mine. We could hang around near these plants and, of course, get some goodies. But I think we're going to do some exploring. So we're going to go check out and see what our neighbors are like. Oh, let's talk about the map. Yes. So this is the map. <laughs> um, this is the bottom. This is the top. Right? Makes sense. But you can actually travel from the bottom and get to the top. So the universe is round. It's spherical, so you can actually travel from the bottom to the top, from the side to the side. Kind of cool. Now, um, around the edges here, there is just empty space. So outside of where these colors are, it's just empty space. Now, it, <clears throat> my color apparently is gray. So whatever is this color of gray belongs to me. I'm assuming I'm gray because that's the color where my stations and ships with factories are. Um, of course, this is a different faction. This is a different faction. This is a different faction. In order to turn those my color, we have to eliminate all of the other factions. It might be even just one ship or one little chunk of something that belongs to an enemy. But we have to destroy that and be in that sector to make it our own. So, and we don't have to take over every single one of these sectors in order to win Although, although I don't know if winning really exists in the game. Although, apparently in the center there is going to be a whole lot of hurt <laughs> for us and our faction when we finally make it in there. So the best strategy is to take care of the outer lying areas first and gain some ground. Um, the more ground we have, the more power we have overall. It means more ships that my faction's producing, more ships I'm producing, and of course, more safety zones and each one of these factories I can respawn at. So, yeah. So, the best thing to do is kind of take over. Now, alternatively, we can aim for a wormhole. So, we can go through a wormhole and say, this is this battle's not going well. Say, it's not going in our favor. We're, we're faced with some really brutal areas and we just can't pass it. We can go through a wormhole and uh, go to an entirely new galaxy um, just ourselves and start over, but with the ship that we've currently got. So that's kind of cool. I like that idea. Um, for now, let's uh, let's take, you know, go check out some of these surrounding dudes. Okay, so we have no tracking weapons. Everything is forward firing. We don't really move fast enough forward. I wonder, maybe let's add another thruster in behind. I think. Yeah, let's let's add another forward firing thruster. Uh in back. Right. Yeah, that's not bad. I uh, I still almost not fast enough, but I don't know. That's okay. It's cuz we're, we're getting heavier, that's why. <laughs> I have a weight problem. All right. So, here is a these stations, they're all different, right? So if you remember, I think we took over one in the last one. It was, a, it was a station. I think this one is also a station. So let's just watch what happens when we take it over here. So activate. Just takes time. It doesn't look like it was guarded by much, which is pretty cool. Now it's going to steal whatever it can out of the parts that are just lying around to uh, just add to it and make it whole again. Um, otherwise, it will grow parts gradually. And then once it's complete it will start producing its own ships based on how much resources it has. So if I drop off resources, um, once it's capable of taking them, it's not quite ready to start taking resources yet. Um, so I've got 44 here. Oh, there it goes. It took some. As it takes them, it'll start to produce its own ships, right? And of course, when I sell or trade the resources that I have, I get more of the uh, social credits to build my own ships. Okay, I'm, I'm not very good at driving yet, so be gentle in the comments. <laughs> I'll get there, I'll get there. And of course, our ship has lots of defense guns, uh, but no shields, so we lose parts pretty quickly. And this guy's, uh, he's, he's pretty much our speed, I think. Maybe some auto cannons might be handy, but the defense guns are doing some damage. Ugh. Wow, he's, he's tougher than I expected. But they, they don't die until you've actually killed the core. Okay, one sec. Sorry, I had to stop my timer. Uh, oh, if I can get... Yeah, I might add some more autocannons on here. Just because uh, the turrets actually, I think, are maybe a little bit more handy than I think. Those flat cannons are doing some damage. Am I running out of energy? No, I'm not running out of energy. Just having trouble actually finishing him off. Weird. It's because I can't... Tough to aim on the smaller ships. I think that's what it is. 
And I suck. That's that's the other pair. Oh, we killed one. Yay. <laughs> Aha. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we're maxed out on resources. Let's go drop those off at the factory before we um, keep... So uh, we don't lose those resources. Uh, we might... Actually, what I think we're going to do is we're going to add some more cargo containers to this ship as well. Why isn't he taking the resources? The ship is not... Oh, there it goes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... And then he will start... Let's see if he produces a ship here. See, I think these parts right in here might be factories. So this is a factory, and he will actually start producing ships. So it looks like all those bad guys followed me here. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is just about the end of the episode. I I know we just did more learning than, than playing. <laughs> on this episode but the next one i promise we're gonna do a lot more fighting and stuff i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please hit the like button it helps me out tremendously and we will see you next time okay take care guys